we have the Tesla Model Y. It's a fantastic car, but it uses a lot of power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to figure a way to arbitrage power because our power company charges a lot less for power between midnight and 3 a.m. So we wanna use that time to charge our Tesla, but we also use a lot of power in our home. We use about a total of 30 kilowatt per day because we work from home, we cook, we do laundry, so a lot of power utilization. So power arbitrage is very important. So basically the battery will be used at night to charge up from the grid if the solar power isn't enough to charge the batteries already. And we assume that there's gonna be solar during the peak time of the day charging the battery as we are using the battery. And as the sun goes down, we'll continue to use the battery. And then at night, we want to use the grid power to top off those batteries. So during the day when the sun starts to rise again, we're still using the, the topped off power from the battery and then continually charge it with the solar panel from the sun. And we don't have a big roof. Our roof can handle maybe about seven or eight kilowatt total in solar panel capacity. So we still need to use grid power to power our batteries. Because we plan to have about 30 kilowatt of battery power because we use about 30 kilowatt of power a day. So that's our situation. How are we gonna power it? Well, we're gonna use EcoFlow power kits and I need your help guys. I need to figure out how to wire it. So basically this is our power panel right here. And to see, we have a lot of circuit. We're gonna offload six of these circuits to the power kit because one power kit can handle six circuit. We might get two power kit. We might even wire the two power kit to an EcoFlow smart panel, but we're gonna do it in stages. So the first stage is just the power kit without solar panel. So this is our breaker box. This is our circuit breaker. So what we're gonna do is install the power kit along this wall. And we're gonna get the 15 kilowatt power kit. That means five kilowatt battery, five kilowatt battery, and five kilowatt battery if we install it on top right here. But I'm not sure if I wanna install it on top because those batteries are very heavy. They're about 100 pounds each. And because right here, you can see our Tesla Model Y. As I open the trunk, you can see it kinda gets a little bit close to the wall, it's not touching the wall, but like if we were to back the car in a little bit more, it might be a little bit closer. It is something that I'm a little concerned about, putting 300 pounds of batteries up there, sticking out. So I'm thinking about that, but we might have to talk to our contractor about that, which is why I'm asking you guys for help too. If you guys are electrician or contractors that build stuff, you let me know. Does that look like it's there's enough structural integrity to hold 300 pounds of battery. I don't know what that pipe is. Look at that pipe right there. So there's a, that pipe up there. So if we have some wood um, pieces that hang down from there and then some shelves using two by fours, building it very strong with two by fours with nothing supported from below, more from the, the hanging force, right? So we're gonna have some things hanging from there and then uh, obviously attached to the studs in the wall. Will it handle 300 pounds of battery here, here, and here? 300 pounds total? I don't know, so that's question number one, structural integrity. Uh, if we do that, it'll be nice because we have the three batteries here. We'll put the EcoFlow power hub here, and then that power hub will connect to the three batteries, and eventually we'll connect to the solar panels on top in our roof. And then we'll have the distribution panel right here, which is perfect because the distribution panel can connect directly into our circuit breaker, and then we can get the power from the circuit breaker back to the power hub to charge the power hub. So it's perfect if you have everything in the wall. So we have battery, 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 power hub, and distribution block right there. And maybe we have the EcoFlow display right there. So if you don't know what I'm talking about here, let me show you real quick. This is the, the whole setup. We have one, two, three. These are the three batteries. They're five kilowatt each. Again, we're thinking about putting one, two, three. So those are the three batteries. That's the power hub right there. We're thinking of putting the power hub would be right here. Then we have the distribution box. That's the distribution box right here. And then that's the EcoFlow display. The distribution box will be right here and that will get all the power circuits to go back here and feed our circuits right here, feed six of them. And then we'll have one circuit coming out of here, going back to the power hub to charge the power hub. So this setup will be here. Basically, it will kind of be like this. Three batteries, the power hub, the distribution box, and then the little control unit right here. So that's option number one. We put it all here. Now, one concern about that is that the power hub does a lot of work. It handles the solar power, it handles charging the battery, it handles distribution of the power, so it gets hot and it actually has fans and people say it does make some sound. So I don't know, if putting it here and causing extra noise in a garage, is that a big deal? Maybe not so much, but there's one other option. 
The other option is to keep the garage pretty clean. We'll have the distribution box here and we'll have the um, control display here. And outside, we will have the three batteries and the power hubs. Distribution box, control, and then a wire that goes out. Let me show you guys what we have outside. So outside, you'll see we already have the EcoFlow power kit. We got one, two, three, three of the five kilowatt batteries, and then we got the power hub, and then the distribution box, and the EcoFlow display all here already. So we got the unit, but we'll have connection out here, and then we're gonna have the power hub here, and then we'll have three batteries supported off the ground a little bit. So one, two, three batteries, then we'll have the power hub here, and then we'll have to build an enclosure to block out the rain from it, and obviously for thieves from taking it, right? So maybe what we can do is we can build out some wood right here, and just build out a small shed with a door to open and close. So that might be one option. Um, is that feasible, guys? Is that too cold? Can I put the power hub here and the three batteries out here and build it with a structure? Is that too cold? Is it safe? It should be safe because we're gonna seal with water, but is that too cold? Can I do that? And yeah, can I do that? Is it a good idea? Do you guys think it's a good idea? Of course, we have the three batteries and we have the power hub out here. We have the distribution block and the display unit inside. And then we have one more cable that gonna, that's gonna connect to the power hub and that's gonna power the hub to charge the battery at night. Of course, we're gonna have solar from the roof coming down and connecting directly to the power hub here. So that's how we plan to do it. And then going back inside here, we'll probably make a hole through the wall and bring the, those cables in for the distribution block and the display here. So it'll be pretty clean. So what do you guys think? What solution should we go for? Should we put everything on this wall here or should we keep the wall pretty clean, just the distribution block and just the display and then have the power hub outside and the three batteries outside? Which, which one is better and why? Let me know, let me know. I'm very curious because we're going to get a contractor to help us put things together and I need your suggestions on what is the best way to do this. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Let me know in the comments.